The Delta State Government has handed over a certificate of occupancy for 3,747 hectares of land in the state to the Nigerian Navy for its operations. Governor Sheriff Oboriwori handed over the certificate of occupancy to the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala, when he paid him a visit in the government house Asaba, the Delta State Capital. The visit was part of the Chief of Naval Staff familiarization tour of Naval Command. Both the Governor and Ogala pledged to strengthen their work relationship to ensure peace and security in the maritime sector of the state, where most of the crude oil production of the country is carried out. Quest Charles Kosipa reports that Oboriwori and the Chief of Naval Staff promised to synergize with other sister security agencies and Deltans, especially those in the riverine host communities, to provide a favorable environment for the production of crude oil and other maritime businesses. All you have been saying about keeping our waterways safe is not a good, it's not a new, it's not a news, a new news to all of us because we know that since I came in. For the past seven months, it has been wonderful. You have a very good team in Delta State. A lot has been going on. And I want to tell you that Delta States, they were very happy with your operation here. What you experience here, the peace you experience here, if you go to other, other waterways, outside this state is quite different. You cannot go to all those waterways without going with the gun boots. But in our waterways here, you can go without even security. The place is safe because of the good work people are doing. We have land already secured for the Nigerian Navy. 3,474 hectares of land. I want that sea of food immediately. So I gave an approval and a waiver for, for waiver, and as we speak, the COFO is here. I'm going to present the COFO to you. No, please, 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 please. Delta State is our strategic partner because the resources that are domiciled within the maritime environment, including the seaborne trade, coastal trade, a major part of it takes place within the rivers and creeks and the coastal areas of Delta State. And it is our responsibility to make sure that we provide an enabling environment for these activities to go on or hindered. Particularly the issue of oil and gas facilities and their protection. 